Today on All Things 80s, more Star Wars figures no kid ever wanted. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now today we're going to look at more vintage Kenner Star Wars figures that really no kid back then ever wanted. Now some of these choices might seem controversial, but let me explain to you why no kid wanted them back then and maybe you'll understand the thinking behind this. So we'll start in a chronological order with Obi-Wan Kenobi, which in itself is a fantastic figure. It really is. Now the problem that I had with this figure and all of my friends back in school had with this figure was a couple of things. First of all, the color. It's brown. And when we were, you know, six, seven year old kids, you did not want to have anything brown. Because if you had anything brown, people would make fun of you because, of course, brown is the color of fecal matter. And uh, brown was a big, big no no at my school when I was a kid. In fact, there was one kid whose dad had a brown car. And that kid was made fun of so much just because his dad had a car that was brown. So you did not want to have anything brown in your possession. Also, bearing in mind it was the early 80s, and that's not long after the 70s. And of course, one of the big fashion things of the 70s were flares. And if you looked at uh, Obi-Wan's legs he was basically wearing brown flares. And if you so much as uh, were to turn up at school with a, a brown figure wearing flares, you were going to get made fun of. Now, looking back, it's absolutely ridiculous that that was our mindset back then. But kids can be mean. And you did not want to be the kid who was made fun of for having an action figure wearing brown flares. So for those reasons, Obi-Wan was a figure that, when I say kids did not want, I, all I can comment on is the kids that I knew, and I include myself in that, I did not want this figure in my collection. And as a result, I did not have this figure in my collection. So next up, we have General Medin. And you're gonna see a common theme here. This is an old man yielding a stick. Um, of all the figures that were released at this point in time, this was one of the most undesirable, simply because he, he didn't play a major part in the movie. He's an old guy with a grey beard, very much like Obi-Wan. In fact, I didn't even mention that about Obi-Wan. It's an old man. And we were young, you know, seven, eight-year-old kids. We wanted, you know, fully-fledged action heroes in our possession, not old men. And, of course, the general here, again, is an old man. And to compound things, he's holding a stick, as if he's giving, like, a PowerPoint presentation at the local office or something. This was not what we considered to be a great action figure. Um, there was nothing to be made fun of by owning this figure, it just wasn't a particularly desirable figure. So that was General Medin. Next up, I could probably have chosen any Ewok for this. But I, in particular, I'm looking at Wicket, which is bad on so many levels. So I've mentioned this in other videos that when we were kids, we were buying these with our pocket money. So value for money was very high on our list of, of objectives in picking out a figure. And you can see here, in terms of size, this, this did not present value for money. Yes, it came with a head headdress, which we'll get to that in a moment. But, at least with Jawas and Yoda, which were also small figures, they were cool characters. And in Yoda's case, he had a lot of accessories that came with the figure. This one has his spear, which is, you know, whatever. Take that out for a second. But, with the Ewoks, of course kids couldn't resist but take the headdress off. 
And when you do that, what are you left with? You're left with a little plastic teddy bear. Now, what boy wants to be seen with a little plastic teddy bear in his collection? Um, I, for one, could not ever dreamed of bringing this to school. Uh, you brought that to school. You were instantly made fun of. You were called a big baby. Uh, so, yeah, this was a figure that I can say for sure no boy really ever wanted to have. And I suspect any kids that did have this in their collection were given it as presents. Because on so many levels, just the lack of value for money, the potential to be made fun of... Uh, those those uh, those things alone were enough to put any kid off willingly buying this for their collection. So could be any Ewok, but especially Wicked. Now, as we get down further down the line, the Emperor. Now, this was a figure which, yes, he plays a huge part in the final film. Well, when I say final, at the time the final film. And he did have some pretty badass scenes with his force lightning and everything. But when you look at the figure, it's a decrepit old man with a walking stick. Not what you would call an action figure, would you? Um, again, the flares, I mean, obviously it's, a, it's his robe, but the way the figure's sculpted, it's like he's wearing horrendous flares. So that's another no-no for kids back in the 80s. Uh, I actually do like this figure a lot. Uh, I never had this as a child. This came out as I was veering away from Star Wars. So I can't say for sure if I would have chosen this with my pocket money. Uh, looking at it and thinking of the mindset I had back then, I think probably not. There were so many cooler action figures to uh, have picked from back then. But I imagine that the kids that were still doing Star Wars in 84 would probably have veered away from this purely because it's an old man with a walking stick. Now next up, here are two of the biggest, or should I say the least, value for money Star Wars figures. First up we have Anakin. Now, this, in terms of value for money, was an absolute disgrace, given that it came with zero accessories. Uh, most kids back then, they were all about Darth Vader. They, they probably were too young to appreciate the whole backstory, so they would have seen this as yet another old man in a gown with big old flares. Um... Again, looking at it, I was missing in 2019, it's now 2020, of course. Looking at it in 2020, um, it's an important action figure as, you know, as part of the line. It, it looks actually, it's well done. You know, clearly, you know, Kenner improved their sculpts as the years went by. And this one does look really nice. Although a kid would not want to spend his money on this, when there were so many other figures available that came with cool accessories and, and whatnot. You know, bearing in mind, this came from the same line as Luke with his poncho and belt, blaster, Han with a big carbonite block. Those were good value for money figures. This sadly was not. And which again leads us to the Imperial Dignitary, which is pretty much the same story as with Anakin. <sighs> In fact, it's even worse because what we have is basically an old man in a dressing gown wearing a cravat and a silly hat. Uh, looking at it now, I, I, I really do like the figure. I think the, the colours are pretty outstanding, quite stunning actually. Uh, the sculpt is very nice on his face. Um, but again, could you, you have to put yourself back in time. And imagine yourself, you have a few, well in my case, it was a couple of pounds of pocket money back in the 80s. And 
this is when shops really did stock Star Wars like big time. Oh, actually, not so much for the power of the force, but you get my point. There were pegs upon pegs of Star Wars figures to choose from. And you had to spend your pocket money wisely. Now, are you going to pick an old guy in a dressing gown and cravat with no accessories, or are you going to pick a figure that you kind of admired in the movies and came with action accessories? Of course you're going to go with the latter. You're not going to spend your pocket money on a figure that had no lines in the movie, has no accessories, and for a kid, looks a bit stupid. So I think that those are pretty, I think I've, between the last video and this video, I think I've pretty much covered the figures that no kid really wanted back in the 80s. Now, as we're not in the 80s, I love having these figures now. I absolutely love them all. Well, Wicket, not so much, but you get my point. So there you have it. The figures that no kid really wanted back in the 80s. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you kind of understood my reasoning for choosing these figures and my explanations as to why they were not popular back in the 80s. And if you did enjoy it, please do like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next video.